Hi everybody, this is Shane R. Monroe, and today we're going to show you how to customize and set up the Nintendo DS emulation inside of EmuDeck to best serve Nintendogs. This is a video done by request. I'm going to assume that you have EmuDeck already installed and you have the Nintendo DS BIOS files in the right location. You can play basic Nintendo DS games, but we're really going to talk about how Nintendogs works with this default setup. So the first thing that we may run across when you run Nintendogs, depending on which ROM set you got, is um, you might have it in the wrong language. This, is, this happened to me when I first grabbed Nintendogs. I realized even though English is available in Nintendogs, for some reason, the default, um, the default language for Melon DS, which is the emulator involved here, is not English. So how do you change this? That's one of the first things that we're going to do. And we also have maybe not the best uh, scenario for layout, right? We should have a small screen down here and a big screen over here. Um, we need touch controls because touch isn't working. Um, there's all sorts of things we can do. It also is obviously fairly low resolution. We could probably change that as well. So let's get busy. To go into your emulator settings, hold down L3 and tap R3, the two uh, analog buttons. We're going to scroll ourselves down to options. And we're going to make all of our option changes first, and then we're going to fix the language problem. So we're going to scroll down here. It's going to probably have, these should all be the defaults that you have. We're going to turn off booting the game directly. We're going to change our screen layout to hybrid top. We're then going to change the hybrid small screen to duplicate. S uh, swap screen mode toggle if it's not already there. That's important. We're going to change our uh, internal resolution to 5x resolution. And we do need to enable touch. So where, where was that? Touch mode. There it is. Touch mode needs to be set to touch. All right, with all of these things, we should be really close. So if I were to go back into the game, if I were to resume the game, uh, well, it's it's in progress, right? So uh, some things may not change until you reset. But in this case, we now have the top screen and bottom screen here on the side. And we have a duplicate of the screen up here. And look at this, touch is working, yay. So if we were to go ahead and get ourselves to a dog... I only know this because I've done this like a dozen times. So if you were to bring a dog up and want to play with him, you'd be expected to use this screen down here to play with him. Well, nobody wants that. We want to use the big screen up here. So if we use our R2 or trigger, you can see that we now have a full-size touch screen over here to play with the dog. So we, we can still see both screens over here, and we can play with the dog here. Perfect. This is really what we want. Now we just need it in English, right? <laughs> so let's go ahead and uh, bring our menu back up and hit bring our menu back up and hit restart. Okay, this is going to put us into the Nintendo DS uh, interface, the where we can actually go in and change the language. So hit the little DS icon down here. Jump over to your settings region. English, please. Oh, can't touch it there. You got to touch it over here. Confirm. Yes, now we're talking. Now I can actually see what's going on. Yay. All right. Got to keep remember. I, I, I use this so often. Now I got to go back here. Okay. Yes. So the system will shut down. And you might get a black screen. That's okay. Go ahead and hit restart manually here. Perfect. Everything's in English. It's what we're looking for. Yay. All right. And then, well, unless it's your other language, then you'll want to change it to that. Uh, so now everything is in English, just like we would hoped. And hopefully all of our menu items and everything are also in English. That would be fabulous. And it is not perfect. All right. So now we've got English. Now we need to get rid of the boot up screen, right? We don't, we don't want the, uh, we don't want the Nintendo BIOS stuff to come up, the system stuff. So let's go ahead and say boot directly on. And then we're going to restart again. You're going, Shane, how come that didn't work? I hit reset. Well, there's one more thing you have to do. You still have to exit out and go back into the game one more time. Now it's behaving exactly. Well, it did, it did have a save file, so let's restart. 
There we go. No Nintendo DS intro. No Nintendo launch screen. No Nintendo UI. Right into the game. And it's in English. And the touchscreen works. And we can pick a dog, bring him up here. Toggle our screen. There we go, and play with our doggy. That's it. All right, hope you enjoyed the video. Please like, subscribe, blah, blah, blah. You know what to do. Thanks as always. I'm Shane Armand Monroe. Appreciate your uh, watching my videos and supporting the channel. Thanks so much. Take care.